Hi. Let me tell you about another great Manning book. Time Series Forecasting Using Foundation Models, written by Marco Peixero. Foundation models mark a significant shift in machine learning, moving from data-specific models to versatile models applicable across various tasks. Traditionally, models were trained for specific scenarios, requiring new models for different situations. Foundation models are trained on extensive data sets, which enables them to handle multiple tasks, simplify workflows, and enhance efficiency. Coined by Stanford's Institute of Human-Centered AI in 2021, a foundation model is a large machine learning model. Key components include a large training data set, a substantial model size, task versatility, and adaptability. These models, often weighing gigabytes, learn dependencies across diverse scenarios, making them applicable to tasks without specific training data. The transformer architecture, introduced in 2017, is crucial for models in natural language processing and time series forecasting. It consists of an encoder, which learns data relationships, and a decoder, which generates predictions. Embedding layers and positional encoding are essential for understanding the order of data, which is crucial for analyzing time series. Feeding the encoder, raw time series data is tokenized and transformed into an abstract representation through an embedding layer. Positional encoding maintains data order using sinusoidal functions. Inside the encoder, the encoder features a self-attention mechanism and a feed-forward layer, often stacked. Multi-headed attention allows the model to identify trends and patterns, making predictions. The decoder uses a masked multi-headed attention layer to generate predictions, informed by the encoder's output, until the forecast horizon is complete. Foundation models simplify forecasting pipelines, require less expertise, and are reusable across tasks. However, they raise privacy concerns, limit control over capabilities, may not always be optimal, and require significant storage and computing power. Deciding to use them involves weighing accuracy and cost against traditional models. Foundation models for time series forecasting fall into two categories. Those specifically designed for time series data and large language models adapted for time series tasks. Models like TimeGPT and Kronos are tailored for time series, while others like PromptCast repurpose language models for forecasting. Each model's architecture and capabilities will be explored in detail. The journey begins with building a small foundation model to grasp the challenges. The focus will then shift to models developed for forecasting, assessing their performance on real-life data, and exploring the potential of large language models in tackling forecasting tasks. Get this book at manning.com.